head. Anyway. Yo, what up? My name is Tomikaze. This is, after a long hiatus, another top five podcast for you featuring Red. Whoa, what's up, homie? And Nick is bad at Dark Souls, a.k.a. Reese. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I just put my headset back on. All right. Um, so, if you don't know how this works, basically, uh, we nominate ones that do not belong on this list after very intelligent discussion. And uh, no I don't know about that last part. Oh, yeah. That was all sarcasm. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and so this week is top five video game sidekicks. And I actually have a ton of... Of uh, honorable mentions that I actually want to go through first, mm. um, because there's just a lot. Uh, feel free to add any more to this also if that are not on there. Uh, I have Dominic Santiago from Gears of War, Vivian from Paper Ooh. Mario, mm-hmm. Daxter from Jack and Daxter, mm-hmm. uh, Jean from Bayonetta, mm-hmm. the Companion Cube from. Portal. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, Quiet and Diamond Dog from Metal Gear Solid Five. Paula from Earthbound, uh, Murray and Bentley from Sly Cooper, Waddle Dee from Kirby, and the Arbiter from Halo. Ooh, Arbiter. All right. Cool. So hell, that's a good list right there. Yeah, I was in like, this is all subject, I guess, to yeah personal preference uh, and basically what games you even played. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's mainly the deciding factor here. Right. Um, I don't mind when get kicked out first. It's okay. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if anyone else has any other honorable mentions that they want. Mm-hmm. Nah, I think you're pretty spot on on those, man. Yeah, can't think of any. All right. Um, so, who wants to go first? Which one of these sidekicks? I think Tom McCodge is just going to take this bullet first. Yeah. I'm just going to take the bullet yeah. first. All one. right, I'm going to go and shoot for... I'm going to go easy this one and just go one that I don't know that well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say Clank. Mm. But Clank gets... Because to... I absolutely know nothing about Ratchet and Clank, so this is between you guys. But Clank gets to the bitches. Is that, is that true? <laughs> Apparently that's what chat said earlier. Oh, okay. Apparently. Oh. Well, Ratchet and Clank is a really... One of PlayStation's great games. Yeah, definitely. Now, my uh, knowledge is not as going to be as good as Reese's, but I can say is the game what? was fun. <laughs> the game is really fun, and it, the game will be shit without Clank. That is, he's like a vital p- part of this game. Absolutely. I, I don't know why you deferred to me. I've only played like an hour of one of them. Because I can only look like, I can only look like a dumbass so many times in my life. So I just <laughs> had to let someone else go first, okay? <laughs> But yeah, he's the game in general is fucking amazing. He is very entertaining. Oh yeah. But other than that, I mean, other than that, the game. Ugh. God, I wish our knowledge was a little bit better on this one. Yeah. Is he top enough to be top five though? No. Like I feel like our knowledge would be better on this one if he was the top enough. To franchise be top five. has not really been lo- around long enough to even be. It's a it's a pretty. It's been, it's been around. It's been around, for... but I mean the ones we have top five that are gonna probably make it. I have a little bit more holding power. I mean, oh my god, I don't want to kick this guy out already. <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to kick him out. He's adorable. Look how adorable he is. He, he's awesome. Whoever whoever's playing this, I think this is the PS4 remake of it. Is Hi, Melody. Time events. Yeah. Melody. Yeah, he keeps getting slashed. Melody, Melody wants us to listen to her. <laughs> No, listen. I, I okay. Let me let me read off um, things that Melody has said here. Gets robot ass. Turns into a jetpack. A spy. He he's really a is. Fighting robot. He, he's crazy. Important. He's a, stuff. he's a Swiss Army knife robot. Hey, whatever. Oh my God! I'm playing on thing. Whatever the guy needs, he does. He's like perfect for all that, and he's in a movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that's why that's why Daxter didn't make it is because Ratchet and Clank's getting a... a fucking movie. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. 
He is. I don't know. He is kind of badass. Yeah, I mean, he, he's all badass. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he should be on the chopping block early. Yeah, truth be told, I think, yeah, we should keep him around. I don't I know think, if he'll I get a five, around. but he's like the straight definition of a sidekick. Yeah, he's the, too vital for the that game to be gone. He's the and in mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank. You know, if he's not there, it's just Ratchet. Yep. And nobody wants to play a game called Ratchet. I mean, unless it's good looking. kind of fun. I mean, I hate to deal with the herpes, but hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this, this, uh, this footage for the PS4 version. I think it's PS4. Actually, yeah, it's it, kind of fun. Yeah, that, on, it looks sick. It's one of those games so. I wish I actually bought during on the PS4, but money wise, is I, I'm a more Nintendo dude. But the game is solid. There's no bad reviews for it. Yeah, they've been consistently like really good games. Like, I know when it first came out, it was like, "Hey, this one, this one's fun," and then it just only got better. Mm -hmm. It's it's really, I mean, I guess none of us really played as much PlayStation as we did Nintendo and the other things. Um, yeah, but that, this that's is another problem with to somebody who just had a PS2. Games is yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If somebody had a PS2 growing up, this is their Mario this Sunshine. Game was in there. Like that. Like, this is their yep. Mario 64, things like that. All right. Melody wants a clip shown really quick. Um, I'll find it in between. And um, when when Clank goes up on the chopping block again, if he does, or when we talk about Clank again, because we will. Yeah. No. Um, I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to have that clip ready. Oh, I actually, I gotta reset my, I always forget to do this, my um, audio delay is at like 0. 0.65 seconds right now. Smooth. So you guys are, is that... basically, because cause the capture card and the sound from the, the Wii U come out a little bit later, they're not instant. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I yeah. have to set it back a little bit, um, <laughs> so that I'm not saying things before they happen. Um, I'm now, all about spoilers. Since, since talking to you guys is instant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I guess that's uh, we're back to neutral. <laughs> all right. Can I, take, can I take the next one? Yeah, you yes, can take sir. the next one. All right. I've been holding some hatred for this character for a while. Oh, oh Lord. Diddy Kong. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I knew you were going to say that. Gracious. Um, right, we, got some, we got some crispy-ass DK country footage right here. Did he con? What makes me not want to kick him out? Eight? Oh, actually, I can. I don't know why this didn't go to 720. Well, that, that makes you not want to kick him out is because of Diddy Kong Racing. But that's not even part of the whole psychic bullshit. But he is like the definition of a sidekick. No, yeah. he's not. Ratchet. Yeah. Clank is the definition of a sidekick. He is just yeah, an extra playable is character. No, this was. He's just a playable was character. Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong Country, not Diddy Kong Country. Yeah, so it's Donkey Kong. We get that point right there. Yeah, and so. it's not Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's name not in there at all. And it's not just him. It's him, the girl, and there's an old man involved. Old Monkey. That's in like the new mm -hmm. ones. It used to be just Donkey Kong and Diddy. It's the same reason why when I hate on the other ones, a real psychic doesn't need any help. Sidekick, yes. Diddy seems to handle think, himself pretty well. I don't know. I think a real psychic should be. The hero be, and the sidekick, not no, hero be, and like, the crew. Useful to the to the main character, and not is like useful, take any though? of the glory. Yeah, did he's so useful? He, uh, I'm gonna say sure. Why not? not he was really. okay. I don't know anyone that played Donkey Kong Country that didn't want to play as Diddy instead of Donkey Kong. I didn't Donkey Kong all day, baby. Give me the big old <laughs> brute. Come on. Like, who was playing little flimsy little monkey? We can play. Yeah, Misery's right. Though. He's got a motherfucking jetpack. <laughs> He's got he's packing heat. He's got some peanut pop guns. Okay. On that note, you see how many times that jetpack does not make it back to the stage? Shitty equipment. Not uh, a good psychic stage. shitty equipment. <laughs> you should uh you should play some DK sixty four. That jetpack goes I, everywhere. Iron certainly hates Navi, I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> y'all can hold this one back if y'all want to. But He's not in the top five. I don't know. 
I don't know. My my vote is to keep him in, but uh, yeah, I keep him for now. Okay, and Miss Me votes keep Diddy. All right. And Miss Me is the ruler. Oh, um, wrong button. There we go. Oh uh, shoot! Have uh have Miss Me nominate if she's doing that because I gotta I gotta step aside really quick. All right. Sorry. Two for two misses. Got you. Navi. No. Is that that little fairy light? Yeah. I and all like you know, you know, she one, really did but... was uh, tell you what to do. Uh, it was a little bit more than that. Again, I don't play oh, Zelda. This is going to be you on this one. There we go. You have to convince me why she's not a ass of a sidekick. Okay, she's like your companion through all of Ocarina of Time. All right, that really does not move my arrow up at all. Okay, so she she doesn't really do shit. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, is that the game she... you were playing? What? No, no, I played Twilight Princess. Shit, that, that's I'm Midna. That was my companion there. She's on there too. She's at the very bottom. Yeah, I think I remember her. Okay, so again, all of us saw her. I never seen her throw a punch, or it throw a punch. <laughs> okay, that's because she doesn't. That's not her specialty. All right. Uh, or physical what is she, capability. Yeah. What does it do to me worth a damn? Other than just fly around being a creeper. She lets you Z target. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, Link had no like idea of how to look at something and keep track of it without a fairy near it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm blaming the stupidity of Link, but I got you. Well, that's the stupidity of Link. <laughs> I, guess I, got, I don't know. Okay. So she helped. Okay. Oh, I mean, she makes. I she makes. She the uh, she helps Link get all the pussy. Like, just look at this dialogue on screen. Everyone's like, "You have a fairy." You have a fairy now. <laughs> it's like having a pet. It's like having a puppy. <laughs> Is that really a? It's like okay. I, again, y'all need to talk about this one. I'm staying out of this conversation. Yo, I agree with Iron. She made you get out of bed at the beginning of the game. Yeah, all right. Oh, we kick her. Kill her. <laughs> Worst Destroy. Destroy. Waking people up from the morning? Uh-uh. No, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't on board with having Navi all the way to the end anyway. So if we want to kick her now, that's cool with me. All right. That's a miss me yeah. too. I, I, I'm cool with her too. I mean, I just think that there's better... Definitely. There's, there's I like better the, Zelda I, helpers even. Did, yeah, I think that last one on the... When the last, damn, you have three Zeldas in here? Yeah, Biased. I know. Well, I think the I let, last two I nominated are a few. I think one. I put Midna up there and Chizord <laughs> nominated Zelda. I don't know where Chizord is. He should be in here. Chizord? Someone someone throw that in Discord. Oh man. The chat is all about killing. Gone. So, Kill the right. fairy. Oh yeah, no, no, fairy's already dead. I don't I don't hate her the way everyone else does, but yeah, I'm cool with her being gone. I didn't have her in my top five. There's one tab I can close. Later, Melody. Bye, Melody. Have fun at church. How long are you going to be at church? <laughs> we don't ask those questions. Church goes forever. Yeah, so do these top fives. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. All right. Uh, is that? No, that's the race then. Hello. Hello. Um, let's see. I'm going to, in the same kind of way of Navi, I'm going to get rid of Cortana. All right. But she's actually like, I don't know, helpful. That's the Halo girl, right? The... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm about this one too. Shit. You guys don't know who Cortana is? You guys didn't play old school Halo, did you? Uh, I played <laughs> Halo. I just didn't marry pay attention to a blue chick. I mean, she's, hey, she's Roberto everyone's personal sidekick if you have a Windows phone also. That's true. Or a laptop. My girlfriend has that. Or, I guess, Windows 10 at all. They use for all the wrong reasons, but okay. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I don't even use her in Windows 10, so I can't really use that argument. Yeah, I don't do that at all. <laughs> Kill the idiot phone app. <laughs> Yo, I like Cortana, though. I don't know. She does um, have a few flaws when she enters rampancy, which is basically when AI corrupts itself so much. 
and just I don't know enough about Halo to actually explain this, but she does have um, shortcomings. Yeah, being a hologram is one. So, even you and me, I don't care to it, but you put this girl in it and I have no idea who she is. I'm not getting any info about her other than she is an app. <laughs> okay, okay, she's not an app. Um, she she I likes mean, you know Navi the basics of Halo, important. right? Yes. So, so Master Chief, this enhanced super soldier, Spartan. Mm-hmm, I know him. All right, so he has an AI. It's basically the same concept of Navi, um, where she's kind of a guide, but she has she does have a lot more personality than Navi. Got you. Okay, kind of okay. A relationship okay. with Master Chief throughout the entire Halo series. Um, Yo, who the hell's up with the time And outs? you know, saving him a few times, as you'll probably see here. This is the end of Halo 4. Alright, well... I don't know, she's super important to the story and basically Master Chief's sidekick the entire Halo series. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But as far as... Uh, she... Like, she doesn't do a lot other than be in your head and, like, talk. So there's not but... really any physical help there at all? No. I know, you'll actually no. see some physical help right here. Um, oh, I mean, I didn't regarding electronics, before. but still very, very successful in saving Master Chief's life. Yeah. <laughs> Good comment, Melody. Listen, she has, she's on point, but she's just like Navi. We already kicked Navi. I think she's gone too then. I, I haven't played Halo 5, <laughs> so I don't. I don't, I don't know that for sure. I haven't played Halo 4 or 5. We're Nintendo boys, except for a few of these. Except I played the first three, I just don't have an Xbox One. I, uh... Sorry to step aside, but I, I saw what, um... Ms. Me, or what Zach said to Ms. Me, and I, I get why he timed her out, timed oh, her out okay. a little bit. <laughs> I was just wondering. It's it's fair. All right. But yeah, get rid of worse Siri, as Roberto Tapp says. All right. I, fine. I'm cool if they're gone. Bye bye. Didn't think the chat was gonna be much behind. Yeah. Not anyway. <laughs> if you had streamed like Halo right before this, mm-hmm. then got I Halo would have no viewers. viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. All right. Melody, we know you're supporting Clank. We, right. He's not. He's not at risk right now. All right, Melody. I will. I will keep that in mind while you're gone. Right when she leaves, we take them both off the list. <laughs> Let's do it. Get rid of them. Just kidding. All right. Uh, like not back, even back a to me, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh well, man, I actually like most of these. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good luck. This is harder than I thought it'd be. What's up, Mudvayne? What if says kill Luigi? I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, Red, I'm going to do horrible things to you. Um, Choose wisely. I'm, I'm going to let you speak, mostly for this one, uh, and convince me why Tifa should stay up here. Ooh. All right. Tifa. Oh, how do I say that? Melody, you can go next. Other than this clip that I found, which... Portrays her as a total badass, not really as a sidekick, but yes, um, this is this is actually epic. I love this movie. Well, she is that one dude that sticks by cloud. One dude, one chick that sticks by cloud the whole time while Cloud's having his issues. She's, she's a, been yeah. there. She's, she's like his, his best friend, <laughs> like literally her best friend, while he's trying to go bang the girl that heals everybody. Ares, right? Yeah, yeah. She's always been there to have his back at all times. Like, yes, he has a team. But she's like the confidant. Even yeah. in having children, who t- takes care of the calls? Who calls them? She does. Who takes care of the place? She does. So she I, I is, haven't actually seen Advent Children. Is Advent Children about pretty like, decent. Cloud and Tifa? It's mainly? after. It's after the whole yes. situation of a uh, seven, and she's there taking over whatever she does. He does now, which is like bounty hunting bullshit or odd jobs and crap. Okay. One of the main she, reasons yes. that I nominated her. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks. My roommate just uh, gave me a copy of Advent Children, so I will watch that later. There you um, go. Wow. So why'd you do it? Um, so there's a lot of games where you have a full party, where, like, I know that there's... T5 kind of made an exception because almost everyone I've talked to about Final Fantasy VII says that she's, like, the best and just everyone likes her. Um, but yeah. That's I mean, why I didn't include anyone from Mass Effect, anyone from Dragon Age, anyone from any Bioware games where you have the choice of, like, six companions. Um, I liked it to be, like, main character plus sidekick. That's it. Mm -hmm. But that's why I left Tifa in here is because I feel like she was probably enough, important enough to be included on that. Ow, that would freaking hurt. Well, then what makes her different than those games you just said? She's yeah. actually a vital point of the stories. Okay. Like, yeah. legit vital, vital. Like, when Tifa, anything happens to Tifa, Cloud's pissed. Plain and simple. And, like, his rest of the people get hurt, yeah, it's whatever. But her, it's like one step below Ares. When after she died, it was all about Tifa. Oh, so he just she just goes on to the next. Eh, more <laughs> or less, but I mean it's pretty much what it is. It's best friends and BFF for life, kind of thing there. And she's gonna always be there for him and so on and so forth. So it's kind of hard. And while she's whipping that ass, Jesus Christ. I want, I just want to say. I just want to say, movie. Melody and Mizmi, the two ladies in this thing, mm -hmm. are the ones who are talking about her tits. We're all talking about her ability and personality, yeah. and the two ladies are like, "Yeah, but she got tits." See, I can see her not making <laughs> a top five, but I can't see her getting kicked out this early. Okay, right. that's fair enough for me. Because I mean, she really was a vital point of that story, and you know, she's a fan favorite. So you do that early, you're gonna be, you might get shot. That like guy's got a flip farm. Well, the movie was made a little older than we expected. <laughs> so I right. say we keep her. All right, Iron says keep her. Roberto says keep her. Um, I'm cool with keeping her. I guess I mean we keep her. I feel like she's gonna leave eventually. Oh, I, I do too, but uh, maybe not this early. Ooh. This is freaking cool, though. Mm -hmm. This whole movie we're watching right here, right? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I just turned it off, but there, there wasn't much more after that. It's fine. Um, right. I got this one. Uh, I think Melody actually wanted one. Melody and Draco both asked if they could dominate. Uh, can, oh, can I please stab myself in the eye first? What? I'm really about to kill myself on this one because yeah, I want to get it. Are you going to say Claptrap? Fuck you. No? Pokemon. Pokemon. Wow, yeah. I did not expect that one bit. Those are not sidekicks. Those are tools of destruction. What are you talking about? They're... There's a 758 different ones. They're not sidekicks. They're tools this is of your, destruction. This is your starter Pokemon, though, that we're talking about. Who gives it? Okay. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I mean, just look at just look at Red's Shut up. relationship Shut with up. his Charizard. I'm trying to. Okay? I'm trying to do this, and it's hard. I can't do it. I'm keeping it. Oh, fuck my life. That's my vote. I try to stab myself, and y'all to stop me from doing it. Thank you for not. Yo, having I, me think, take I think I think start a Pokemon are top five. Me too, definitely. I don't. Yo, well, I, I love the, my Charizard. I think the holding power of some of these characters, as a true like sidekicks, are gonna last longer than the Pokemon. And I love me some Pokemon. Mm, interesting. Because the Pokemon, they're all they're switchable. Which is sad. Like, not everyone wants the starters. Like, every generation. Like, some starters are just ass. So they're not really going to be your... Some people are going to switch them out. And I know these are the first three, but every generation has different starters. I know, oh, but like... Geez. Oh, I agree totally what you're saying. But I'm going to disagree as in... I don't think they're up there. Like, because there's so many different Pokemon... I don't think uh, I kind of get where you're coming from now that you're if you would have said Pikachu talking. in yellow, I would yeah, totally agree like with you because Pikachu was given to you at the beginning. That was a forced sidekick. OK, well, and, yeah, I'm, I'm, and right. you were abrupt and you had to get Squirtle, Bulbasaur and Charizard randomly from different people. But I mean, that's my issue I got because it's every generation I mean, is excluding different. excluding Pikachu on this one. I know. Just saying that's I just want to think Pokemon is going to be up there. I, I, I see what you're saying when you're because you don't like 
you know, you have a special place in your heart for the one you start out with and you get mm-hmm. from whatever one, two to three. Um, but you can't just survive with your starter. Like, I mean, you technically could break a game like that, but do you feel like you can go challenge the elite four with just a hella strong, uh, no one guy. No, you got to have a whole crew. Yeah. But I feel you, like I could take anyone on one on one with my starter. Yeah. One on one. But if you have a Charizard, you better, you better have a, you know, the op, whatever Pokemon you have, you better have a, uh, an, a team that accounts for that one's weaknesses. And the other ones, I mean, they, they'll they all have their weaknesses, but they all kind of are their own. Like, it's just you and your sidekick, as opposed to this one. It's like you and the one you like a lot, and then the rest of your crew. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I that's what you're saying. There. And take another step on Pokemon is, the starter Pokemon usually are your little first ones. Um, When, you know, the game gets done for playing the whole story and crap, Mm-hmm. There's a competitive side too, and you won't ever keep your starters usually for the competitive stuff. Oh, so that's another step past it. Like, oh, guess what? Your best friend you team up all get the level fifty or one hundred, whatever, the whole time. You're not going to use yeah. it competitively, anyways. So now he's just going to be in your box because that's what happens. All right, I'm I'm going to vote stay. Mizmi says doesn't care if Pokemon stays or dies. I think Melody voted I'm... keep. I saw um, a lot of people voting earlier. Like okay. they all said it in their thing. What scroll up. Say? And, Let me scroll up here. Let's see. You know, say it's harder for me than it is for y'all to say this because oh my goodness. I know. I was very impressed with you. Mudvayne see says Draco. Keep. Yeah. Um, says kill. Zelda boy says kill. Draco says kill. Mizmi says kill. We're about we're about split. I feel like. Are we split enough to remove it, or split enough to keep it? <laughs> um, yeah, Zilda, Super Zelda brings a good point. If you out level, like, what if you play like a different game, right? And you bring your level blank whatever first generation Pokemon. You bring it to another game. They won't listen to you until you get all eight badges. If that's because that's level. not you. That's another you. Hey, no. If you play one game, you want to pick your favorite character from that one game. You bring it to your other. That's still gonna be your sidekick. Yo, if it's you put character. if you put if you put Diddy in a Mario and Luigi game, Diddy's not gonna want to do shit either. Again. So that's gonna make a good sidekick. <laughs> He's not trying to help out the team. It's all about him. Pokemon are selfish. No, it's all about the main character. The main character of the side that he's a sidekick too. Hey, hold up. We all know the main character is Pokemon, right? No one gives a fuck about Ash or Red or Blue or Gary or any of that. We all know Pokemon is the main character. Whoa. You play because them Pokemon or May because that ass. Other than that, you don't play for the main character. You play for the story, the villains, and Pokemon. All right. Melody said kill Pokemon. That's why we were there. there. That but was interesting. Footage. That was so good. Oh, it's great. I love From it. It's pretty Pokemon cool, Origins. but yeah. you know, I don't know. All right. Um, I'm surprised. I put them at like number two or three, and then after thoughtful discussion, I I changed my opinion. Yeah, I'm actually changing <laughs> mine too. I don't know why. Red's just Interesting. good at talking for a long time until you. And Red up. convinced us from giving Pokemon <laughs> credit to anything. Hey, I like what kind of bizarre reason. world are we in? I mean, I just think there's real sidekicks compared to that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. All right. Well, let me go ahead and just especially go because I mean, cut. Red's pretty happy about catching Mewtwo here, also. So yeah, he's not going to use Charizard mm-hmm. much anymore, right? Let me go in and start cutting my wrist now and get it out of the way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel right now. Goodness. All right. Well, we'll leave on this heartwarming picture. Hug out. And then he eats them. Oh, <laughs> didn't have like a plan. All right. Um, a lot of people in chat wanted to nominate something. Should we, uh, should we let them? Let- yeah. Let's see what the chat says. Uh, if you get, you guys should collectively come up with one. If you guys are cooperative enough to do that. 
I know, I own said Falco. <laughs> Uh, I think Melody said... What did Melody say? Ooh, Tobik is mad. Oh. We're not going to make everyone happy. Sorry, hey, guys. this is coming from a freaking Pokemon fanboy. Oh, man. You know I'm, uh, it's worse for me. I main Fox in Smash 4. Luma. I would have been there's a there's a there's a high number of people voting for Falco right here. And Our one for boobs. Alright, this is chess nomination, Falco. Alright. Um Me personally, I I'm, I'm cool with him being gone. Um I'm gonna agree. Um because like he is probably the most favored member of the Star Fox team. I mean that's that's why he's in Smash and all that. Yeah. Um, but um, while he is awesome and does some awesome things, he is the least cooperative member of the team and doesn't really give a shit about anyone but himself. And yeah, isn't he, like does, a, he doesn't really like, like Fox. No, he doesn't. I <laughs> isn't mean, he, it like a four he, he man like, team respects anyway? him and, like, enough to, like, you know, would save his life because that's, you know... He has that kind of respect for him as being on a team where you do that, but um, he he rarely actually speaks highly of anyone else. Yeah. Can I say this right real quick? Uh, yes. After you saying that, I'm liking Falco more and more now. Oh, dude, Falco is <laughs> a complete badass. Like, I love him as a character. Like, I mean, I really don't pay attention to like most of the shit. I just play the main character and just fuck stories half the time. I need to start actually taking my time now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, he's a very um and when you tap his amiibo in Star Fox Zero you get a red uh you get a red R wing. So that's pretty badass. Mm -hmm. How cute. This is literally like the, the only the, the most Falco related footage I could find. Is because But any part like a four any part like a four man team anyways? Well, uh he is. Um so, so Pepe being uh kind of the the veteran leader of the team. Uh Slippy being the engineer and kind of uh analysis member. Fox being the main guy, and then Falco being the kind of uh, sidekick douchebag. Exactly. All right. So they all, they all. Um, also, I think Falco is, I think, the best pilot they have on the team. Yeah. So. Where that's, is that's the uh, Falco main is... story then? How about that? Let's give Falco Yo, his I own would, game. I would love Falco to have his own game. That would be dope. Alright, so we all gonna agree though he's not gonna be a sidekick though. Like yeah, top yeah. five sidekick. Because I'm, I'm cool. not gonna agree or disagree with this one. Because I mean, to me, seeing Falco seems re relevant for the game and was good and all that. But other than that, I mean, I don't really know that much on him. So it's up to y'all. Have... To... I'm I'm more than down to get rid of him. <laughs> all right, one of my favorite characters I... of all time. Favorite Ooh. Nintendo characters, but um, I guess we can we can kill him off this list. That's yes, Falco do, does right? need his own game. That would be dope. He doesn't he That'd doesn't be need to be awesome. Fox's sidekick anymore. I I would like to see because I mean I know that like manuals and stuff like they gave they gave Falco like backstory like quite a bit of it um, that he was I guess not. Not really in good terms with the law, I guess, before he joined the Star Fox team. So I kind of want to... Ooh. Like, that would just make a really oh, good game. You know? Yeah. Just as a sidekick, he doesn't really fit. He's an interesting character. And he's far and away more interesting than the frog and the rabbit thing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So people just liked him more, and then he was in Smash. So it all adds up to him being cool, but he's not that good of a sidekick. Because he doesn't even like the guy he's a sidekick to. Like he, he would beat us him, up but... if we, if he heard that we nominated him a good sidekick. He'd be pissed. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. Is this from the new game? Yeah, this is from Star Fox Zero. Shit, looking pretty clean actually. Yeah, they cleaned it up a lot good. since um since their first preview of it. It's basically a remake of Star Fox sixty four story, but. Of course, but it looks a lot better. Oh yeah, it looks so nice. 
Uh, so I'm getting that. That's going to be on stream. Wait. Rip Falco. But anyway, uh, Rip bye Falco. Bye-bye, Falco. Thanks, chat. Good nomination, chat. So are we going to Miss Me or Reese next? Me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to nominate Zelda. Zelda. This is including Sheik, by the way. I don't care. Okay. Just just wanted to let you know. This is Zelda and Sheik. I love Zelda. She's neat. I mained, I mained her in Smash for a minute. Uh, But she's not a psychic so much as she is like a different part of the story, you know? Like, in the closest one to a sidekick is when she's Tetra in all the, you know, Toon Zelda games. And I guess Hyrule Warriors. I haven't played that one, but I don't feel like that's much of a... You know. <laughs> don't kill Sheik. Zelda. Sakurai already killed her. Oh, <laughs> topical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. that That's a good argument. Don't kill it because Sakurai's already did it. Yeah. It's All just right. cruel and unusual at this point. Don't kick her while she's down. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know how to follow that. <laughs> just. <laughs> what do you think about having Zelda? Is she in your top five? No. Absolutely not. So, yeah. I already know she's not in mine, so. All right, that was easy. All right, well, mine right. is because mine is he, I don't know Zelda, so Donald and Goofy would have been good to have on here from Kingdom Hearts. They're Can honorable mentions. Yes, Just honorable mention. Sorry, Zebra, we already went through like honorable mentions and stuff like that. We we we're at a point where we are discussing the ones on the screen. I, it's really too late for me to add anything now. <laughs> yeah. So, Tom, are you going to fight this keeper at all, or are you just going to let this one go? Nope, she can die. Whoa. <laughs> my, my favorite right. Zelda sidekick is still in there, so uh, I'm cool with letting the other ones go. Navi. All right, all right Ms. Me, go ahead. No. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> wow. Uh, Ms. Me's going to say Minna, and I am going to fight this super hard. Is that the chick in black and white? <laughs> yes. Twilight Princess, yeah. So, I would keep her because every time I watched you play, she was a rode a dog, right? Uh, Link turns into a dog because she of, yes, she she um, you're basically her sidekick, weren't, but not really. Weren't, weren't she like a vital control. part of that game though? Yeah, she's a huge part of that game. Like she is why we, the main reason why, why she most, even... like most of the events of Twilight Princess took place, and the game would not have been possible without her well can we kick... to ahead, be fair ahead. that we got it we can also make that the case for cortana navi and zelda okay well someone else could I, have I've gone and it. talked to link about to tell him to go to the great deku tree as soon as he goes to the great deku tree he's fine because uh, uh, yeah okay uh, he does <laughs> navi doesn't give you the premise of like the entire game like she doesn't know what's the going on targeting though as... She knows about as much as you do. <laughs> Minna <laughs> is on a completely different level. Where, I mean, she's the princess of the Twilight Realm who is overthrown by Zant, who... Saves your life. Zant doesn't beginning. save your life. <laughs> Zant tries to kill you. No, not Zant. I mean Midna. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Zant saves your life. Bullshit. I yeah I got it. I have her in my top five for sure. She is a. I have no top five. I'm just winging it right now because yeah. I don't know. There's so many things in here that are, I am too biased on, so I have to try to keep it open. But I thought yeah. she was gonna make top five. Yeah, gonna. Min, Minna Minna would make top five in my opinion. Yeah, I would kind of like if you actually put some uh, Zelda and not. Uh, I'm a royer, so we can see uh, her being a sidekick. All you're showing is her being a badass, which is always good. Yeah, I mean... That's all you need to know. She's a badass. We're I done. mean, she's a sidekick in the sense that she probably could not have completed the main mission without without Link. Yeah, definitely. Link so, I mean, was that, tremendously important. Just that enough to 
but she's far and away the most epic. valuable out of like all of these people and definitely as terms of your partner companion in a Zelda game. Absolutely. Like, uh, sorry, just I gotta be back one sec. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to disagree, because every time I see you play the Zelda game, she was doing something important. Okay, I'm back. I, I have uh, Twilight Princess HD footage uh, mm -hmm. of this also, but um, generally, if I feel like they're going to come up twice, like as in be nominated once, and then we're going to have to talk about them in their top five uh, respective yeah. spots, gotcha. I try to find two different videos. So All right, makes sense. Good point. Um... Watchful Coma would like to nominate. Would you want to do that or do to somebody else? Uh, let's go through us first, uh, as okay. long as we've all nominated one, and then we'll let the chat do another one. I just did Zelda. Oh, wait. Did somebody else? Ms. Me nominated Midnight, right? Yeah. And uh, we all know she's not getting kicked. Yeah. Oh, I had I had footage from Ocarina of Time also that I guess I didn't need anymore. She's sticking around. So who's up? Um... I already, I already nominated. Uh, Where did I put it up there this round? Am I up again already? Yeah, we went through second. This is our third choice for each. I guess so. Oh, all right. I did Cortana and Zelda. I did Pokemon and Diddy Kong. Um. Uh, then I guess claptrap. Fuck you. I know. I mean, we're gonna save that, but <laughs> okay. he's not in my top five. I was looking at the list to think <sighs> of my my top five again. This is where I shine, baby. <laughs> okay, claptrap is essential at least in the first two games made of Borderlands. He is there. Well, I'll take it back. The first one, he's a helper, brings you in, shows you the ropes, just like the damn fairy did, right? Tells you shit's going on. Hey, you can go get this from somewhere like Bounty Boards. He updates you a lot. Yes. Second game, he is the last Claptrap alive. And he helps you at the beginning of the game and shows you your way to, um, God damn it, went blank. Well, it shows you your way to get out of the area and who to talk to and he has friends and all that crap. And he gives you missions. And TPS, he's a playable character. Right. And oh my gosh, he's a badass. So he has all you're looking for the first one, the, sh the guide. He guides you again, but you're saving him. And the third one, he shows you how much of a badass he is, which is the first one. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. He just sorry, got, he does what your fairy does to the max, and he's a playable character. So he beats out those two bad bad people as it is. They're done. So, I mean, I don't get this while you're going to try to boot him. I should stab you through the internet. Whoa. With hugs. Calm down. I don't know when I have the volume right? slightly on for this one because it's a compilation of just most of his quotes from Borderlands 2. Yeah. <laughs> you have all his quotes. Hey, there you go. Shows and, he's helping. I don't remember. I, I played Borderlands 2, but I don't remember him yelling, I'm the last claptrap in existence and I'm going to teabag your corpse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, on the, and he is vital in Borderlands 2 because. The dude they're trying to kill, of course, is uh, Handsome Jack, who's killed off all the claptraps. So it's, there's payback. There's motive. He's too good. Uh, he should not be. He should be a top five for everyone. Saying that right now. If you play the game, you understand why. No, no I played. I played Borderlands two, and I played the beginning of the pre sequel. I haven't. You ever played Borderlands one though? No, no, I, I played Borderlands one absolutely. Oh, see, if you play, you did right. I, I feel like he's he has more of a role in Borderlands two. Yeah, he does, because Borderlands 1, he was your guide, the first thing. And you see how I many claptraps are there and so on. Borderlands 2, he's the last one, which is RIP. But if you play TPS just all the way through, you understand he, that's like in the middle story of both of those. And it shows you why there's only him left. And which is, I mean, I, I can't see him get kicked because he is a vital part of the game, of the series. He's in all three games. Yeah, so is Cortana. Yeah, but Cortana didn't... He, you're actually a playable <laughs> character. You can play him. You can do from one, zero... Wait, yeah. From one to max level, you can play as Claptrap. 
He has more abilities, hidden abilities, and her, you get to play her once or twice a game, maybe. You can play with a whole game as Claptrap. The same reason why Luigi is up there, so the same reason he should be up there. All right. Vital as hell. I'm okay with leaving him in, but he's still not in my top five. Oh, we will have a fight then. We're running out of people. <laughs> I know. I, I can't I, kick him just because he's just a vital part of the game. The same reason why you can't kick out Clink. He's part of the game. He's useful as hell. And he dances. He does dance. Look at that. He dances Which is shit ton. Like the best thing. You help me I'm just going to defer to you guys. I never played the Borderlands games. Ooh, except play for, them. Play except them. for Tales from uh, the Borderlands, see, which was super said, good. Oh, I was gifted that game. I've been needing to play that. Um, I feel really, really, really personal about said, this, though. Uh, this Mudvayne says, I played all the games and Claptrap is a worthless loser. Yeah, because he hates Claptrap. I played it. When I streamed Borderlands, and all I did was stream Borderlands at the beginning of my streaming little small career I have right now, is all I streamed was Borderlands. So, Every single one of them. Also, that is a personal. Mudvayne brings up another good point. If you can play the whole game as him, he's not a sidekick in Borderlands pre-sequel then, right? No, that just gives you a backstory of why one and two as it is. It's the oh, same okay. as, if, that's, if that's true, Luigi's gone, and so is Yoshi. Right. So you could still play as a backup. Okay. So, so the argument was for him in uh, to give him backstory for. Yeah. So you understand why he was what he was and what happened in the end. Disapp and his whole team, and he just comes back. And if you play, again, you gotta play the whole game to understand. Now, I understand this thing probably won't make top five because y'all are assholes. <laughs> but, but that's pretty much what he is. He's just really vital to the story. And yes, he does get annoying. What supports are not, what psychics are not annoying? He runs into literally everything. Because he's blind. The damn thing ran, jumped in, and took his eye. All right. You did not see that. Yeah, you didn't see that. He took his eye. What do you expect them to do? <laughs> and he treats you like a little bitch, which is awesome. Yeah, he does. Look, look, watch this, watch this. And he shocks himself. And he has comedic value. Like every good sidekick have comedic value. Too. Okay, he was hilarious in Borderlands. I'm not gonna lie, I liked him. But all right, so I'm gonna let y'all figure that one out. Tell you right now, he's got at least stay to at least six or seven. Then I can uh, maybe, then I can maybe think about it. All right, All right. I'm, I'm fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. We'll keep him in for now. All right, who's well, next? We're running out of people. I know everyone else is like. <laughs> oh, is it my turn now? Didn't, oh. oh yeah, because I said claptrap, didn't I? Hmm. Huh. This is hard. There's two of them I would like to kick, but they're too vital to the game, as in their names are in the game. <laughs> um, those two are kind of really hard to kick out since their name is in the game. Uh, there's a monkey I don't like, which I don't think he should. Whatever. Just a playable character. Tells has to stay. Yoshi. Louis. Hey, how about we just let the mutt die? He only lives for like 12 years, Max. <laughs> Dog meat? Whoa. Oh man, you're yeah. gonna anger a lot of the chat. A lot of the chat loves what? dog meat. Please ban or kick whatever the dog. He, I'm I'm kind of cool with it. I mean, I understand he's man's best friend. He might be viable. I guess, but to me, he's just a dog. So bye bye. I love dogs too. Remember, no psychic that eats chocolate and dies is not actually a good psychic. <laughs> That's a valid point. Dogs now, are so cute though. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick and y'all talk to this back and I'll see what happens when I get back. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> okay, All right. okay. I personally think some of the honorable mentions are better than dog meat, personally. Yeah, um, I think so. Like, yeah. I think Diamond Dogs from Metal Gear Solid Five is a way better sidekick and companion than Dog Meat. Yeah. Uh, being being immortal due to game mechanics has like nothing to do with that, because Tails is immortal. 
Wait, Tails is completely take... immortal in in Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog two. He just he literally what? just follows you around, copies all That's of your actions, kidding. can drown, can just never die by enemies, <laughs> and just never dies. Yeah. That's true. So um Red said get rid of him. I wouldn't be put him on my top five. Yeah, I wouldn't care. put him on mine either. Reese says he doesn't belong on his. Uh I think Tobik said kill him. I think Draco. Uh let's see, Super Zelda Boy said kill him. Draco, I think, is the only one fighting for him with a passion. Sorry, buddy. So, I leave and come back and he's already going to be gone? I love this. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with him being gone. Uh, I think the only one we're pissing I'm off right now is Draco. Sorry, Draco. Draco will feed you chocolate, too. It's okay. <laughs> T-Devil Dog said dog meat should go. Um, I don't even use him in Fallout 4. Like, I've got What's her name? I don't even remember. I don't like being that guy that starts. <laughs> oh, Mudvin got real, real. Um, All right. Graphic about killing him there. Ooh. <laughs> well, I, mean, that, I think it's right there. Other than Draco, <laughs> bye, dude. I mean, everyone else is okay with him being gone. Yeah. All right, dog meat's gone. Man, I've cut me and Draco. Good job, me. <laughs> Behind the shed. I don't think he actually took him behind the shed. Behind the shed is just the uh, expression. <laughs> just saying. I think his was out in the field. Oh, he's so hurt. It's so sad. He ate chocolate. I saw it. <laughs> That's why he stabbed him with the insulin. Yep. Gotta live. All right. <laughs> um... Reese or Miss Me or Chad or whoever. Yeah, it's not me. I said claptrap. Red said dog meat. Um, I'm going for blood. Uh, I'll go, I guess. Well, Miss Me is trying, I think. Oh, but... okay. Because she nominated Midna, right? No, she already Again? nominated Midna last time. Oh, and, and then I did uh, Zelda, so yeah, she would be up next. Kill... Uh, uh, come on, Miss Me. Say Diddy. We, is it about She's the say, <laughs> We Diddy. We Diddy. <laughs> All right. We uh, Diddy. Wait, Red, you nominated Diddy last time, right? <laughs> yes, I did. All right, so we can, that, that's still fair to nominate. Mm-hmm. I think once we get to the top seven, we can re-nominate ones that you've already done. That's when we kind of just collectively yeah. do things. Um... Diddy. Nellington says kill Diddy. He just came in here. I gotta stay keep him, man. I, again, I'm, I hear my other thing I hate on Diddy. He's just a playable character. I said it. He's just a playable character, just like the other ones. He's just a playable character. No, that's... Uh, uh, if if he made it, he would be my number five. So Yeah, he'd probably be right around there for me. So I'm, I am willing to... Let's, let's see if I can think of five more that I'd keep on here. Dude, I already have one on here. I don't even want on this damn list. I don't know if it's gonna be in my top five right now. I've got I've got four that I would definitely put above him, and one that I would like to put above him, but it's not absolutely vital that I do. So. Well, he's gone then. That's that's enough right. for me. You just told me he's gone. Yeah, he's. I mean, Unless... I guess I'm cool with him being gone. Like, yeah, I think he'd be about five for me. Because I see what you're saying. He just kind of follows what you're doing and then becomes playable. Not yeah, so but Donkey Kong does that too when you push the select button and trade spots. Yeah. So like they're yeah. they're a team, and Diddy is absolutely the secondary member of the team, which is mm. literally the definition of a sidekick. Like interesting. No, 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 no. He, but he's not even be vital to be played. You don't have to play the guy. You can play Young Kong the whole time, and nothing's gonna change. Yeah, Unless so could Batman and Robin and like. <laughs> no, no, Robin is needed because everyone needs his uh, little Playboy perverted shit next to him. Apparently, nah, no one needs that shit. Diddy, 
Maybe he's not that cute. <laughs> Diddy Kong is way more badass than Donkey Kong, though. In every aspect except Smash. No, he is not. Like, if I have a choice to play Diddy, like, in any Donkey Kong game, I'm playing Diddy. Ugh. But for some reason, I just always hated him in Smash. Hey, man. Here's what it is. So, is he gone? Uh, hey, we all said okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it, for sure. Maybe said to get him. Y'all say it's like indifferent unless. I'm I'm cool with him being gone. I guess. <laughs> All right. I'm cool with it. I guess. Oh, is it ostrich? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the yeah. game was amazing. The game. Oh, was absolutely. Amazing. That's for sure. Like, I'm not taking. I'm not hating the game. The game was fun. All right. Um, who's up next? Do we want to let the chat or okay? Uh, I think it's either you or the chat. Okay, I'll go and then the chat will go because that'll put us at one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, wow, we have not made as much progress as I thought. No, we're mm -hmm. only at eight. Right <laughs> Shit. It's just that okay. all these are. Basically, so I basically almost... have to renominate everybody. <laughs> renominate uh, somebody. There's a few that are that haven't been up there yet. Well, I a mean, I just trusted the... you. I trusted you guys as far as the Borderlands robot. Um, keep me in. Uh, I'm, you know, to me, I'm going to have to say Yoshi. That was going to be my next one. My man. Like I figured I, you'd be picking me. <laughs> no, no. I, like, I understand why you would think that, but um, yeah. you only really need one sidekick, right? Wait, do I not have Yoshi footage? What did I do? Yeah, that's what I was thinking was, was you have more than one sidekick, like, wow. Yeah, Why I mean, um, basically the same reason why Epona didn't even make it on the list. A lot of people were telling me, yo, Epona. And, um... Yeah, I was wondering if we could put Epona. I suggested that to you. Yeah, I think so. And then I had people telling me that, you know, Epona just takes you around places. And I was like, well, yeah, I love Yoshi as a character, but in the terms of him being a sidekick, yeah, he's just going to take you around places. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't have had Epona in my top five. <laughs> I'm just that's what I suggested be in there. Wow, the chat's actually on Yoshi's side heavily. Why? Because they're all sucking up to you because it's your main. <laughs> nah, it's Iron's main too. Uh. -oh. No, yeah, so it says keep him. Nah, man, I can't. Uh I can't keep Yoshi. I think he's gone. I mean, he does have a couple of cool games to sell, but the as far as was, yeah, the games that he was in with when Mario was the main character, was he that v vital to some of the games he was in? No, no. He was just another thing you get. You're like, oh, this is cool. Like I could do everything, well, most everything, but this makes it easier, or this gives me a bonus thing. All right. I gotta let the chat know something real quick. This is not a list of your favorite characters. I know you all, you all love Yoshi, and <laughs> yes, he's vital. But this is a list of of purely on the si topic of being a sidekick. So, like arguing, um, arguing that he can do his own stuff, is actually not helping the argument at all in any way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He he helps here and there, but for the most part, Mario can handle it. Yeah, without I mean, without without Sheik, uh, Link can't warp to anywhere in Ocarina of Time. Without Cortana, Master Chief would be dead. There would be no Halo 5. Without Diddy... Without the bird and Banjo-Kazooie. Without yeah, the like, robot. Like, without the, the every robot. one of these characters is vital, except for maybe like Falco, Diddy... And dog meat. So being vital is not, not just. I mean that, that's just not enough. Yeah. So they all have their vitality, or you know, other. Parts. I'm not gonna say Yoshi's not useful. No, and but there are can... parts where he's vital. Yeah, <laughs> parts not mean the whole game. If you could beat ninety percent of the game without him, is he really that much of a sidekick? You don't feel like I'm playing a Mario game. I can't wait till Mario and a Yoshi get into their adventures. No, you don't. You think of like I, 
you don't think of Yoshi. And then you get Yoshi at one point, and you're like, oh, neat. Right. And it also, I mean, doesn't help Yoshi's case that, you know, Luigi was Mario's sidekick way before Yoshi. So, I don't know. When you think yeah. of, you know, if you were to just be randomly asked the question, who is Mario's sidekick? And you oh, don't yeah. answer Yoshi. Then, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yep. Then, yeah. Then that that's, uh, I don't know how to conclude that argument, but. But there it is. Yeah. So, I mean, the three of us are on board for it. What? I guess not. <laughs> Good rebuttal. Ariel said that Mario wouldn't be alive without Yoshi. Says who? Well, because well, says the entire yeah. premise of Yoshi's Island. What's the premise of Yoshi's Island? You carry on with mm-hmm. Mario and save his life for the whole game. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, without, uh, you know, without. But does that really make him a psychic or more of a hero? Yeah. Man. Makes yeah, him is that makes him your dad. Yeah. Makes him make some poppy. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, there's no like... there's no game without Zelda. There's no game without Cortana. There's no yeah. game without Navi. So. I agree. Yeah. Bye bye, Yosh. The we all harsh. But no. I don't. All right. I've, fuck I've never cared for Yoshi. I hate you. I know. <laughs> all right. Who's next? Chat. You. You chat? Or chat. Yeah, chat. All right, chat. Let us know. Starting now. Except it's going to be a little bit because of the delay. I don't think we have shit as a. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, 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 okay. Really trying to kick Luigi? Are you crazy? Kill. Whoa, oh whoa. my gosh. Whoa. Luigi, 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 Luigi. Whoa. <laughs> Guess we got to talk about Luigi. <laughs> Bye, Luigi. We'll oh, miss you. Are we, kidding right? are, we, are we kidding right now about kicking Luigi? The dude that's legit. Sidekick of all sidekicks of Nintendo franchise. I guess I'll put the footage up there. He's under the chopping block. Yeah, I mean, it. We're nominating. It's, None of yeah. us are. We know what the chat's gonna vote for if we decide to vote, but we're on voice chat. We have the power. I'm yeah, a mom. That was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was shown in full force last uh, discussion. Goddamn, uh, <laughs> damn right was. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drop the mod dick on there. Like, hey, it's mine. All right. Uh, All right. We got Watchful on our side. We got Iron on our side. Like, why would you even think about taking him off a list of yeah. psychics? Mario really, and Luigi games. He is like the main. He's always been psychic from the cartoon to all the games. All backstory has always been. So, yeah, from the Mario's, lore. Yeah, Mario's psychic has always been Luigi, his brother. Yo, have you read the diaries in Paper Mario? He, like, I'm pretty sure he even calls himself, like, a sidekick. Yeah, the whole thing is, like, he gets called, like, Green Mario. Right, like, he's he's so far living under, in in Mario's shadow. Like, he's capable as Mario and helps him out. But remember, most psychics have a flaw like his flaw is he's scared of every fucking thing in the world that's what makes him from being the best right but doesn't that make him a good sidekick yeah that's what i'm saying every psychic oh, has okay. that flaw that makes him become that hero of all heroes his reason he's fucking scared of everything which is a great thing when you have your mario which is a badass you need that one dude to be like you know what mario can't do it all i can do most of this stuff but i'm a little scary little cat bitch sometimes to be honest, he is, but oh, absolutely, it makes him like, a great that's, that's his like big downfall. Yeah, it makes what makes him a psychic. He's awesome, it's but he's like, not. He's yeah, he's he's capable, but he's not brave. Yes, and that that's the whole shown, reason like... for Luigi's Mansion. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. Like yes, he has his own game, of course, because I mean, once you're that popular, you should always get your own game. Like, I think he got his own game for popularity, not because he's just. Dude, I want to. I mean, game. even Diddy got his own game. Yeah, it's a racing game. 
but hey, it's the best game. But One it's of the best game. racing games I've ever played. <laughs> Sorry, I have to one. Yeah, I can't. So, I can't get rid of Luigi. And, uh, Hell for no. what for one thing you got to say and this is an honest point you can ever have for Luigi and most sidekicks is if you get sloppy seconds from Mario you don't even get Peach you get Daisy you understand that Dude, Daisy's slick though yeah I get that but you don't even get the main prize you get the backup you get the bridesmaid okay that's how you know you're a psychic when you can't pull the top girl so <laughs> I, I can't tell if if these guys are salty because Yoshi's gone and just they feel like Luigi shouldn't be included because they feel he's equally important to Yoshi, so they're just saying fuck it all, or if they're being serious. Man, <laughs> there's no way that Luigi's as important as Yoshi. Man, I can he's see him. He's way maybe, more important. He's top five, of course, and I can see him maybe not being number one, two, three. No, he's top three. Fuck that shit. But there should be no reason why he's not on the list still. He should yeah. stay on the list. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't think this list would feel right without Luigi there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you put a list with Luigi not top five in sidekicks. Hell, you know how hard it is to put Luigi as a character alone, not top <laughs> five in some things. Oh, yo. That. Yeah, Iron says. Okay, Nellington also says, please don't kill Luigi. My man. I bet if we were to Google, like, you know, sidekicks of video games, like all these lists and stuff, I'm I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure Luigi was at least top three Mm -hmm. in, like, all of them. He's up there. Yeah. (laughs) This is Tamakazi's list with help. (laughs) So, yeah, Um, he can't be kicked. I'm sorry. It's just... Like... He's not just, my number. Like he's not even my top three, but he is. I can't get rid of him before others on here. Like you can't take him off. Let's see. I would kill. Oh, I would kill everyone. I would kill in three of them. The part before. Those things. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, he's not getting... I'm sorry, we have to go with mod rules and owner stream because you just can't take him off this list. These kids don't know what it's like. Yoshi, eh, Luigi's already had a hard time as it is. All now right. you have yeah. to kick him in the pants more. Well, I mean, we he have, was the bonus. We have, what, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six other characters other than Luigi. Can we come back to Luigi? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, of course. All right, let's do that. Cool. You're up. Uh, yeah, good luck, dude. I, I can't go up because I'm going to nominate Tifa, Clank, or Claptrap, and those are all my previous nominations. <laughs> <laughs> I um, can deal with one of the robots leaving. One of the robots? Clank. Mm-hmm. Really? I had the other way. I had the other one. Really? Yeah. But I, I didn't play Clank Borderlands. Either. So. <laughs> I'm okay with Clank. Even though I do like me some Clank. I don't think Clank he's... is so important. I know. And it's. But so is every character in here. Except yeah. for Tifa. Okay. Yeah. Clank, Clank, Claptrap, and Tifa are like my number five, six, and seven. Or, yeah. Five, six, and seven. I can. Oh, wait. Well, so. if you want to do a group one, I, I mean, I hate to. Yeah. I don't think robot the robot should be gone at all. Either of them, I kind of think the Final Fantasy one should be gone. Really? But it's not my choice, so you pick. Compare compared to everything else on here. I these people are essential to game. Yeah. Every single one of these are essential to the game. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But one of them, at this point. But one of them you don't have to even have in your party at all. Oh, Tifa. Mm. I, mean, I hate to say it, but he just tells it's essential. He's fucking Sonic's little buddy. I don't know. I don't think essentialness is like a definitive characteristic of a sidekick. No, but I mean, essential as in you. Yes, he's there in the story, but is she really? 
you don't even have to use her as so most sidekicks you have that are left are usable characters that are actually helping you in the game and I don't she helps you if you need her to put on your team. Alright, um, we're getting a lot of she's in my top five because of tits. Um, yeah, and they're, that they're alone. So that is that is that does again, not necessarily make a good <laughs> characteristic of a sidekick. Um, so if, if if Tifa had no tits, would Gone. you would you would you still want her to be your sidekick? I guess she's body, dude. She's bodied. I mean, Japan, the, the Japan's all about the legs. That's why she's got the thing. She has ridiculously she long legs. legs. Like, okay, yeah, so when I was cropping her for this photo, her I legs go were. like down to like Zelda's hip in that <laughs> picture. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course she can kick ass. Every single one of these guys can kick ass. But the reason why she's still here is because y'all wouldn't see tits. And that's the thing here. If, if tits is the only reason why she's a thigh kick, what the hell? <laughs> and yes, Tifa for Smash. I'll be so down for that. That'd be sick. I'd be down with that. What if they put Tifa in instead of Cloud? Dude, I'm down. I think I would have been a lot better. We a lot of people would be surprising. angry, but... <laughs> Yo, Luigi can kick so much ass. <laughs> Alright, so are we going to go ahead and... It's up Tom Cross. He's got to choose who he wants to do. I just suggested. Who I... would you do? I'd get rid of both the robots of Fortifa. Hmm. Oh, mm. I know you. You played Clash. Oh, you played Borderlands. I played Borderlands. That's why I said Clank. And Clank. I'm sorry. Anyone that has their name in the game is kind of hard to kick off a list. I. I mean, Jack and Daxter was. Daxter was an honorable mention. I know. I kind of wish you had Jack and Daxter and not dog meat, but that's just me. <laughs> but that would have been. This would have made this decision a lot harder. Um, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're in a stalemate. Someone's okay. going to have to take a kick in the nuts. Yeah, and uh, I think I have to clarify this every time because even I forget um, that we're at seven. That's seven. Damn. Did his mic go out? Oh, am I muted? There you go. Sorry. Wait, when, when, what's the last thing I said? Um, <laughs> don't know. We got to clarify, and you just went on a tangent. No one heard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, out. that none of these, um, no, no one that would kick off the list is is bad. By any means, right now. It's true. So, all feelings aside. Oops. I mean, you know, that. being the fifth best isn't tremendously worse than being the fourth best. Right. So we sound so, like we're insulting people, but we're not. Exactly. Um, I'm going to just leave my nominations at Tifa, Clank, and Claptrap equally and let the next person go. Oh, that's going to be <laughs> me. Yay. Let me get kicked. Tifa, just kick her. I'm sorry. All I, can, uh, I don't want to say it, but I mean, you might as well just go ahead. She's not really... She's in the story, yes. But you don't actually have to play as her at all in the game. You can just skip through most of the bullshit anyways. Hell, in the freaking carnival era, the well, was it park area, you don't even have... You have a choice of going for T4 Ares. And... That's about it. I mean, I don't. So if you know great. how the story ends, is there no reason to not go for Tifa? Yeah, if you know what the start of the story ends, <laughs> it's different. If you don't know how the story ends at all, you don't know if Tifa's the fucking psychic or not. You don't know if I'm gonna be honest. Tifa's your best friend, but you don't know how reliable she really is until you actually play the whole damn story and see what happens. All right. Um, I'm okay with. But this. that's. Can, but that's just me, and that could be. Tifa. Draco. 
Dog meat's dead. Deal with it. <laughs> go to the pound. Go find another puppy. <laughs> it's true. Statistically, the best thing to get over animals is get another of the same animal. Mm -hmm. right, here, I'm, I'm going to make a compromise right here. Um, give me a second. Oh, 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 I got this. If you want to, unless you want to do this one, I have an idea. Simple. If we're kicking Tifa, you can kick out Claptrap too. Cool. Really? Yeah, because that's my other one that I think is viable. But Miss me, Miss me, Miss me's on the opposite end of this. I think she wants Clank gone before Claptrap. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Oh, well, we got two Clap. I mean, I'm was. I could sacrifice my own soul. I already did it with Pokemon, so hell. Kill Clank. All right. Um. They. Oh my God. Miz all right, really chat. Dead. Chat between between uh, hey. Clank and Claptrap. Um. What do you guys think? None of that shit, Super Zelda boy. Mudvayne says Clank needs about? to stay. So I understand how much it hurts me to even nominate this shit. Oh. <laughs> Cause my butt chooses Clank. Decide. <laughs> oh, Clank and Clank. I didn't even see that. Yeah. <laughs> With me, you cheater. You have a future as a politician. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying Ratchet is legit, needs Clank. Yeah, man, I got. I feel like I got to keep Clank. Hold hey, on. If you play the game at least once, you understand. That he, they're vital to each other. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, the I can tell what the chat wants. Set up a poll, my friend. All right, uh, I just gave Tifa a little bit of an honorable mention there. Good job, Tifa. I mean, she's great, and I don't mean she's awesome character. Just you're talking about the most legendaries. Um, <laughs> I love it because <laughs> <laughs> that's all you guys really wanted. <laughs> I know, I'm also put on there. But out of so, all these <laughs> of all these sidekicks, every single one of them are vital to each game that are left. And the only one I can see actually getting taken out now is right. the one that hasn't been in more than one game. Moist, yeah, I'll take that back. I love I'm it. setting up a vote for uh, Claptrap and Clank. Um, no, this is to keep. Not to um, kill. Not to kill. This is to keep. So vote for who you want to keep. Uh, one is Clank. Two is Claptrap. Let me go get this ready. Get this loaded up when you're ready. Oh, that's not. That's it. Mm, mm, mm. There's two votes for no, two votes for yes. We got another vote for two, another vote for one, another vote for two, another vote. Hey! Um, thank you, Jesus. I don't have to feel bad about myself anymore. All right, so that's four for keeping Claptrap and three for uh, four for <laughs> keeping Clink. Uh, Reese, you didn't vote. Oh, hello. Uh. Vote five. For we're at we're at four contract? four right now. Is that Keep, five? Uh, um. Is it five? Let me let me look. I can't count. Maybe. Oh no, five five for claptrap yeah. right now. And <laughs> five and five again. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even see what you did to Tifa. Good job, Tifa. You the winner. I mean, she won over. Let's see, Zelda and Cortana. So it's true. It's a. Oh, and I guess Midna too. But dude, I fucking guarantee if we did that, if we did top five <laughs> chests, like we're fucking uh, like a video game TMZ kind of thing. You know what? I don't. I don't even care. Let's you'd do get, it. You'd get <laughs> so yeah. many viewers, but we'd also get like destroyed because you know that's kind of. No, you won't. Once you show no nudity, you can have any conversation you want. 
Yeah, but you know. Hey, I already did kind of rule thirty four. This is uh, the stream. That's true, you did. The stream doesn't pull very many uh, SJWs anyway, so I think we'd be okay doing that. Yeah, I don't even feel like you got to be an SJW to know it's kind of ninety percent of the girls in here <laughs> are Not wrong. Happy or, I guess I can't even say ninety percent. That's a hundred percent because there's like only two of them in here. Oh, man, at the penis. moment, you don't know. You don't know if a lot of these are women. I guess I don't. All right, we're at I five mean, and five right now. Assume. Someone's got to vote for uh, Ariel. So thing? one of them would. Who would you guys remove before these guys? If both of them were going to make it, neither. I would kick the Zelda girl out. Last one left. No. Is she vital than more than one game other than Hyrule Royal or uh, Hyrule Warrior? No, but I don't care. No, hold up. Whoa. Why is that? Why is whoa, that important? Whoa, Mister. Every single one of these characters. I don't know how many Bandit Kazooie games were there. Two, two, three. Okay. You count nope, the nope. Bad there one. were two. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we have Luigi, who's been around for a while. We have Sonic, uh, Tails, who's been around with Sonic. Banjo with two. Clank with more than one game, of course. Cl- uh, Claptrap has been around three. She's only been around one. Why in the world the one has one time there? Uh, there Claptrap the was only a sidekick twice. Twice. And playable character the third time. That doesn't that. count. Doesn't Still count been around longer than she has because she's only been one game as a backup, as a sidekick. That's more like borrowed help. These people have skins on the wall more than one game. All right. Would anyone like to change their vote? <laughs> I'm not going to disagree. She's vital. I agree. She's vital. Every character is vital left. But how many characters have been there longer than one game? There's your other criteria. Um, I will change my vote from keeping Clank to keeping Claptrap. Ugh. So. I like how I sorry, started Clank. talking about the Zelda. Per- I like how I started talking about uh, Zelda. Compromise. Like, no, compromise. No. These these lists are compromised. We all know this. I got you. <laughs> Yeah. So there's the top five. Um, Luigi, Tails, Kazooie. We haven't even talked about Kazooie or Tails because I think we're just... We already know about those two. Yeah. Uh, all I gotta Minna say is... and Claptrap. All I say is you, once you threaten a Zelda character, you start getting your way. Who knew? I like it. <laughs> all worked out pretty well in my world. I could, I'm done. Drop the mic. You, you threw Pokemon down the drain pretty quick, so... I know, but I mean that's a vital point for that one for me. I, I mean the only other one you have on here is Claptrap. So And I was actually willing to lose them. And yeah, could. I mean me, you or Reese, I don't even think put Clank on here. Um No, Nelton, I'm not gonna say it's le- no no. If you're only in for one game and every single one of these characters has been in for longer than one and they've been just as viable in each one. I mean if you're viable in more than one game I'm trying to say you only have one little game. You're one game compared to all the other ones. That's the only reason I'm saying with that one. I think she's viable as hell. I've seen the game. It's good. But these other guys have skins. They've been around longer. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I think I think your usefulness in any given task, you can be a good sidekick in oh. that, even if it's... I'm not going to disagree. I'm just saying these guys have been in more than one game as psychic. She's in been in one game as a psychic. That's my that's my thing right there. Like one like one psychic day compared to these guys have been how do we say uh around doing it like more than once. Like Luigi's been around a psychic for how long? Forever. Sonic forever. Or Sonic Tails. Tails. Claptrap has Two games, plus he has his own game at third, but we don't count that third one. I got you. Banjo Kazooie has two, and they're vital to each part of the game. Without Claptrap, <laughs> you have no Borderlands. Without Kazooie, you have no Banjo. Without, um, what's her name? Midna? Yeah. You still have Zelda. Midna? Yo, you still have Link. What are you talking about? No, because Zelda's more important than Link. We all know that. That's what he's trying to say. Zelda, come on down, dude. You don't have the game franchise. If you take Mina out, the fra- Zelda franchise is still there. If you take out any other guys, the franchise is going to suffer hard. And mm. your sidekick is going to make your franchise a better. 
course, a better franchise. So, wait, are we are we trying to put well, I'm doing Plank top back five in, now. or are we doing top five? Okay, so you're doing top five. Are you, are you putting Minna at five? Um, at five, then. Yes. I was just explaining to Nelton what we're talking about. No one cares about Smash trophies. Come on, if you're getting Smash trophies, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, I was just looking for my Twilight gotcha. Princess HD footage um, for Midna's. Um, I guess entry into top five. Um, I'm okay with five. Like I, I mean, compared to other characters on this list, I don't think she should be up there at all. Also, but top five, I can compromise with too. Let me address Chizoid really quick. Yes, um, please. So I already had, I already had to turn down a few people, um, for joining the Discord uh, this week. Um, so I just think it'd be unfair to them to to let you join in now. I know you had a part in the nomination and everything, um, but for the rest of this, um, we're gonna play it out with with who's still here. Um, definitely voice your opinions in chat, um, and. Uh, we will talk about having you in in one of the future podcasts. Yeah. And that goes for everybody also. Um, I guess if you if you have a topic that you are very interested in and want to suggest it to me for one of these that we do, uh, I'm more than happy to allow guests on here. Yeah. But anyway, Midna number five, I'm okay with this. Sure. Uh, Mizmi says Luigi or Tails for number five. Mudvayne says Claptrap number five. Um, we got a lot of. I'm kind of Claptrap four. Different opinions go there, here. But... Yeah, I'm not saying that it's not a good game. The game is amazing. I watched as much as I could of Tom McCarthy play it. The game was awesome to watch, and even though I'm not a Zelda fan. But I'm going for jevity, longevity now, and you're there for one game as a back, as a sidekick, and the rest of the guys have been doing it. I mean, it's the only issue I have. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the only thing that's keeping me from putting her higher. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look at them, I mean, most of these characters have been around longer, and that's just the... Only issue there is. Other than that, the character is great. The game is awesome. Very vital. All right. Even Kazi Modbot <laughs> has spoken. Uh -huh. uh, Midna is our number five. All right. Um, I guess we'll still start working from the bottom. I know that at some point we start kind of uh, reversing it and talking about our top picks. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we already know. Let's let's go for number four now. Let's have Reese figure this one out for us. Oh, hello. What? Sorry, I was doing something. Uh, so Minna, uh, Minna got knocked at number five. Number five. I don't like that, but I'm fine with it. I guess that kind of didn't make any sense. Anywho, uh, my vote for number four is gonna be Mr. Robot or I, Tails. Yes. Oh, okay. Claptrap. I'm cool with four. I'm. I'm cool with Claptrap 5, but um, 4 is... Yeah, I would have gone Claptrap 5 also, but 4 or 5, who cares? Well, I'll let y'all <laughs> talk about why Claptrap is 4 and not higher, because I will... You already heard my piece about this one. Yeah. Um, I, I, just don't think he's, I just don't think he's <laughs> iconic or memorable as as the other characters on here. Yeah. Hey, Kazi Modbot says, uh, choose the weird robot. Wow. Kazi Modbot's. One out of four. It's two for two. <laughs> I, I can, I'm not going to disagree with that. I mean, if you played Borderlands, you understand that, hey, he's. When you play Borderlands, he's there. You always see Claptrap is always going to be evolved. If you haven't played the game, you have no idea about Borderlands. You're like, I don't know about this. When people, top tens, he's always there. Saw, I believe it. I have yeah. I only played uh, Tales of the, from the Borderlands, which was mm -hmm. super cool, but didn't have him in it 
yeah, except cool, for as yeah. like a bonus or something. Yeah. Um. My number three. Well, I guess my top three right now. Uh, I would put Kazooie, Luigi, and then Tails. In that order. One, two, three. Yeah. In that wow. order. Wow. Ew. One, two, three. How can you have? How can you have Kazooie at number one? Yeah. Clank uh, not even in the top five. Because. I don't know. Clank is more important than Kazooie. Kazooie is the best. Can I go on my? No, no, no. Y'all talk. I'm going on my rant about Kazooie in a minute. Go. Uh, I, I'm well, still, I still got mid enough footage up here. One sec. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with. I, I like Kazooie. You know, top five, top three is okay too. Um, but I do feel like you got to have Mister Mister Clank in there if you're gonna have Kazooie. They're kind of the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, except for Kazooie does almost everything in Banjo Kazooie. Like yeah, almost everything. Clank does a buttload of stuff. I know, but you, like you, you play through the beginning of the game without Clank. That's true. <laughs> and he's still like Ratchet's very capable on his own. Banjo is like the definition of do nothing, get all the glory. Hey, he can play guitar. Well, he all can right, play, he can play banjo, I guess. Same thing. And Kazooie can play Kazooie. Kazoo. Right, can I? Let me let me have to let me just have to say something real quick. Yeah. I have to do this. No. One, the game's ass, and I'll say it right now. All right. Two. Okay, you started off with that, so your opinion is completely invalid. No, 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 no. I get that out there because that's what I feel, but that's not a good valid point. I just want to say that just to say it. Luigi and Tails, they're like the main. They're like one step behind the main dude of their company. You know, like, Sega had Sonic, and there's Tails right behind Sonic. You had Mario, and then you had Luigi. How are those two not one and two? And Kazooie should be three. Because if you put Kazooie one, we have to go back the whole list and get Ratchet and Clank back in there. <laughs> and I'm like, no, please, we're not going through this list again. All right, I'm okay with Kazooie not being number one. I'm just talking about my, my top picks. Oh, I, I get you, and I'm just... The bottom line, like, why we don't have those two, one and two. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that Kazooie made it this far, um, for being less iconic, but for literally mm -hmm. being like the best sidekick, as Ms. Like, Me just said. Him being top five is like, like I'm okay with that. Opinion exactly. Him being top five, I have no issue with that. Even though, even though I don't like the game, he's a really good fucking you know sidekick. What? Yes, I am. He's I am going to log into your Twitch account and stream Banjo Kazooie from your account. Okay. Uh, more power to you. I don't know why Thank I you. thought that was going to be a good threat. I will give you a cookie, and you'll probably get me more views. Thank you. Yo, I would love a cookie. Me too. Dude. I need to find some real quick. I think I got a cookie right here. Nope. I got cookies upstairs. Never mind. <laughs> cookies are all gone. All I've got is Cheetos. Rip. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I'll let Reese get his top three, and you already know what mine is, so I got mine out. Uh, out of these three, Luigi, Kazooie, Tails. Wow. No. Luigi. Switch, switch two and three. Luigi, Tails, Kazooie. Yeah. So that's that's the exact opposite of my list, isn't it? I don't give a fuck. It's the right one. No, I'm that's just saying. I'm trying to remember. And I agree with Reese. My man. Where's Joey Wheeler in this, by the way? The motherfucker from <laughs> Yugi's best friend in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. With their, with their, like, New York accent. Uh, dishonorable mention. Oh, by the way, we have, one, we have one dishonorable mention. Uh, Luca from Bayonetta. Forgot about to mention that. Oh, that's my nigga. Oh, crap. Why would I put that on the screen instead of black? I forgot that I was playing footage already, though. Crap. I do need to find something other than black for a background image, though. Um, nice meme. But anyway. Uh, Red, what's your top three? Uh, Luigi, Tails, Kanzui. My man. Is that the same list as yours, Reese? Yep. And Ms. Me, what's sorry. yours? 
I'm going for icons. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, like, when you think of video game sidekick, you think Luigi, and you probably think Tails next. All right. Miss me just wants Kazooie. Um. Well, that's silly. What if we did Luigi Kazooie Tails? No, um, mm, mm, you can't compromise for that because we uh, we have opposite ones and threes. We have two people with with uh, Kazooie number one, two people with Kazooie number three, and we've all put Tails second. I mean, Mizmi put everyone second to Kazooie, but still. I I mean, I really it's hard for me to budge from Icon to Kazooie. Who really, you know, banjo more than Kazooie? I'm mean, I'm just not a huge fan of Tails in general, I guess. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, I am, <laughs> I'm with you there. As in a playable character and all that shit, I don't really care for Sonic. But when you think of Sonic, you think of Tails. Knuckles is later, of course. But it's always been Tails has always been there with him. It's like, hey, guess what? I got you a plane now. I'm like, what the? F-? I mean, he's just. That really good psychic he was like he didn't want any of the glory. Sonic gets all of it, but he has a little help. He's way less of a sidekick than he than he used to be. Though. Of course. But I mean I guess Luigi is too. Mm-hmm. I mean I mean Luigi's became more of a like main star sometimes. He actually more playable character and all that shit. But Tom Tells was the for Sega, it was Sonic and Tells was that backup. That sidekick. You don't think of Sonic? And only sidekick. Really? You don't think of Tails after Sonic? When everyone Sonic was released for Smash, like, where's Tails at? Or where's Knuckles? I mean, you know Tails was like, where's Tails? Yeah, you definitely think of Tails. Because back in the day with this game, I mean, these young kids might not know. And even, like, it was kind of older for me, I guess. Yeah, it was. Like, I mean, it, I it was, was playing this so game when I was, like... Like yeah, six, elementary school, maybe less. Yeah, you go, you get. It was so cool because you could have you and your friend playing the same game, and that was only done. And it didn't even advertise tails. that. Like you literally just plug in the second controller and then start moving around, and it moves around yeah. the thing that's following mm-hmm. you. And it's like, whoa, and that's so, dope. Yeah, and so people are like, he's not a good sidekick, but no, that's all he was because you got to bring your friends and play together. Which was very, it wasn't nearly as common as it is today. You know, now every game like forces co op. All right. I mean, I am, I'm happy because we made it this far. I mean, I think we all knew she would get here, but didn't know how high she'd get just because she hadn't been nominated like at all. Um, but I'm okay with Luigi Tails Kazooie in that room. Cool. Well, no, you you still cared about him. Like he was still there. He just followed you around. He could take hits from you. He could he could deal damage because he literally followed you around. It's like ice climbers. Can't have Nana or Popo without Nana, right? Yeah. Pretty much. You always have your unsung so, like, hero. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not as adamant about this as I was the Rayquaza discussion. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that discussion. We ain't doing that again. Yeah, well, Mizmi's saying just just do whatever I want, and we're not was... doing another. We can't do another Pokemon one ever, dude. Just saying, yeah, no. It's gonna get... Except for like Rule Thirty Four, maybe, but even that might be fucking. No, no, we'll die. We can't do it. We'll just die from all of them. Um. So Kazooie number three, dude. I am cool with the list now. I mean, I think the list is a legit. I might be kind of ha- happier about this list than usual because it's actually a legit list. Miss me. I know you're saying no, but like this is this really is a super legit list. I mean, even though we don't have like who did we get rid of that you wanted, Miss me? Tifa. Hits. I thought you didn't even care about this list. I remember you saying that earlier. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's Mizby. <laughs> Mizby's just like, when is this supposed to start a fight now? 
Why not? She only cares about Kazooie right now. But number three is a good spot for Kazooie. I think we got and we got some variety. We just didn't go with the all Nintendo. All right, we didn't go for the basic. Hey, let's pick the same people. Yeah. I was not expecting Kazoo Kazooie to make it this far up. I would love for Kazooie to be number two, in my honest opinion. I didn't expect the Zelda chick to be there, but I have no issue with it. Yeah. Well, I think I think we should. <sighs> I think we should put Luigi at number two. That's wrong. But only because he's the best number two. So we should. Oh, that's <laughs> that always makes sense. That <laughs> makes sense. Have I, I the best sidekick that. actually be the best, you know, number right, two. Right, the number two. <laughs> <laughs> you funny fuck. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold up. Yeah, what up? As long as we have it in chat and saying that it's one, two, three of Luigi, Tails, and um, Kazooie. As long as we have it said and it's all we all know what it is, I have no issue putting Kazooie one, Luigi two, and Tails three. Only for in, the fact know, to have have Luigi number two, because yes, to add it and makes be total. the best sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, as long as you're like, hey, we all know who's one, two, and three, but just make total sense. Like you know, or what, we can just pretend that we all know who's one, two, and three, and then have our own opinions. No, no, it needs to be. No, it needs to be said by Tamakazi himself. I can't do that. One, two, and oh, three. I already put the three on tails. What? <laughs> oh, this list is now invalid. <laughs> this Pokemon all over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, okay. I'm, so I'm putting the two on Ouija and putting the one on Kazooie, and I will say that Luigi is only number two because he is the best number two. Okay, what Straight about up. Tails? What, what do you mean, what about Tails? Well, we need to hear who's one, two, and three other than with the numbers. What do you say who's one? Two? Why? What you, because. <laughs> Come on. That, we, all, got... we all know what we said. We know what you got to say that is legit. Tyler. All right, I, I've, I have talked up Tails enough that, and I do think he's iconic enough, um, that I'm okay with Luigi number one, <sighs> a... number one best sidekick, Tails number yeah. two. And Kazooie is third best sidekick. All I want to hear, baby. We good. We good? Yeah. I'm we cool good. I like it. That's all I want to hear. I like it. All right. I feel like I should... Well, I don't know. I don't actually even save these pictures. Um, oh. I mean, they go on YouTube. It's so true. They're kind of all there. But then you'll get true it with the video true. so everyone will know what's up. And they'll know that uh -huh. we put number two as Luigi. Because, because he's such a good sidekick that he two. can't even be number one. <laughs> yep. The guy. And Kazooie is... I mean, Kazooie could go solo. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, he's, so vital to the, he's so vital to the game he plays. I mean, you have to, like, really hit hey, He's vital as hell. Absolutely. I mean... He sh kind of... We should kind of have Ratchet still there, but whatever. Ratchet and Clink, I mean. I kind of wish we didn't take him out now. Whatever. The list is done. Good shit, Good shit. Guys. I mean, in, in Banjo Kazooie, honestly, I think I think Banjo is a sidekick. Kazooie just totes him around. All right, so this this last footage here is just a compilation of Luigi Death Stairs. Luigi Death Stairs. Yes. He's pissed at getting number one, or not not getting number one. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording here. Um, we got our list: um, best sidekicks, Luigi. Uh, second best, Tails. Third, Kazooie. Uh, fourth, Claptrap. And number five is Minna, but in order from one through five, Kazooie, Luigi, Tails, Claptrap, and Minna. Kind of a weird ending, because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a um, plot twist. But... I think it made perfect sense. What are you talking about? Oh, also, honorable mention to uh, Tifa for best hits. Um, good job beating Zelda, Cortana, from and Kazooie. From the ladies, by Kazooie the way. Kazooie out, uh, out of that spot. Uh, also, maybe Venusaur. I don't know. Might have beaten him, too. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, um, and we're good to go.